everyone, my name is Japni Kaur and welcome to This in Canada. As you know, I have done Masters of Engineering from University of Waterloo and through my videos, I like to share my Masters journey and my international student experience in Canada. So in this video, we will talk about why it is so difficult and why it is so hard to do Masters from Canada. Let me first give you answer of the most common question and then we will move forward to our video. First question which many of us have is is it worth to do masters from Canada? Is it worth to spend so much money to do masters from Canada? So the answer is yes. It is totally worth to do masters from Canada. And the second most common question which students have is it is easy to do masters from Canada? So without sugarcoating anything, my direct answer would be no. It's not very easy to do masters from Canada. You will have difficult times, you will have times when you will feel so overwhelmed and in this video I will discuss about why it is so hard to do masters in Canada and, and side by side I will give you some tips and suggestions which I have learned from my journey as a master student in Canada. So without any further ado, let's start our video. And the purpose of this video is not to discourage you guys. The purpose of this video is to make you aware so that you can plan your journey accordingly. If these things somebody would have told me i think i would have been at better place so i don't want you guys to repeat those mistakes which i did then there's no point of making these videos if i could not help you guys i want to share my journey i want to share my mistakes with you guys that's why i'm very open in my videos so that you don't make these mistakes and you have your successful career on your way so i hope you don't take it in a negative way try to improve and learn more and more in your master's degree one point that why doing masters from Canada is so difficult is that master program is considered as job experience in Canada. Doing masters is not going to university and doing academics. It's like working for a company or working under an employer. Why? Why I'm saying so? As I have told in my videos and as you guys know that once you have done masters and you are graduating, you can directly apply for Canadian PR without any work experience, without any job offer letter. That means in the eyes of Canadian government, your master's degree, maybe of one year or two year, is considered as job experience. Which also means that if you are coming to Canada to do master, it's not that you will only study academics, it also means that it is like a job for you. You will be given tight deadlines to complete your assignments, you to complete your projects. You need to be one step ahead of everything so that you can get a good score at the end of your master's program. So masters is considered as a job. It's like actually working under an employer, under a boss. But in our case, we are giving fees to do masters and we are not earning anything. But they will teach you like they are giving you an experience. So universities prepare master students for the experience they, that they will face in the practical world when they will be hired by employers. When you are working, when you have a job, no employer or your boss will spoon feed you, right? They won't tell you everything. You have to do everything on your own. Same is the case of masters, doing masters in Canada. You have to do everything on your own. You will not be spoon feed by your professors. Like in India, when you do bachelors, your professors help you out. They tell you important questions. They tell you what to prepare for exam but over here your professors will not spoon feed you will not discuss with you everything they will just give you lectures they will give you powerpoints they will give you assignments work work and work and that's all that's why masters is very difficult to do and I think that's why government give you this fruit after you complete your masters you can directly apply for your PR without waiting for your one year work experience so talking about the deadlines, professors over here in master programs give you deadlines like 11.59 p.m. and this is the deadline for your assignments and I have completed some assignments at 11.55 p.m. Late at night, studying at library, taking help from others, giving help to others and that's how we completed the assignment. So the deadlines over here are very strict so keep these things in the mind. You have to learn time management because you have to do your part-time job. You have to go for groceries cook food for yourself and side by side do all the work which your professors will give you so my suggestion and my tip would be here that 
try to socialize with your group as much as possible because this group only will help you and will guide you with the assignments and everything if you're coming new to canada you are also new to the education system try to interact with the people who are already studying in your try to interact with professors more so keep these things in. don't be shy while asking questions like i'm very shy when i ask questions but this thing will take you a step back which you don't want so but two point is why doing masters in Canada is so difficult is that you will not be only competing with your age group and your program students. So in your class, there could be students who have like 10 years of experience and are doing masters now. There would be students who are who are doing PhD and are taking course as a part of PhD. There would be students who are doing masters of research and are just taking courses as part of their MSc. So these students will also be with you. And if you were a fresh graduate like me, I just did my bachelor's and came to Canada. I didn't have any work experience. They are more knowledgeable than you. You will feel pressured. You will feel inferior because they know more things than do. Definitely who has done PhD, they have done bachelor's, they have done master's before you. And doing PhD is not easy. That means they are very intelligent person. They are into research. They know more than you. Similarly, as people who have 10 years experience, 5 years experience, they have practical experience. They know what they are coming from and they know how to solve problems problems effectively they know more coding more languages more softwares than you so that's why pressure is so much but what's the difficult part is that these students will have same examination as yours so the professor will just make one exam paper for all these students so it's not like the fresher master student exam paper is different for phd student exam paper are different for research and the students with experience their exam paper is different all these students will have same exam paper and professor will set the difficulty level accordingly so you have to keep this thing in mind that exams would be difficult when you are in master i will tell you two situations in my master program so i had two part courses in my masters where where after giving my final examination and coming out i have cried even after giving final exams i have cried and also i want to tell you that that there will be many moments and there will be many times in throughout your master program when you will cry over your assignment over your midterm over your project i don't like to sugarcoat things but this is reality because it is difficult to survive as a master's student so i have cried after coming from my finals from those two courses but it was not just me majority of the student in the class cried after coming from that examination some even cried after looking at the exam paper and even one professor he has to change the timings of examination twice within the examination so the exam paper was for two hours he has to give three hours then again he has to change it to four hours because that exam was so lengthy and nobody was able to complete in two hours not even phd students and that's how professor will try to be considerate and in another examination the professor actually gave us grace marks those students who have completed their research paper on time they were given grace marks because that exam was so difficult and let me tell you that exam was open book and even if you have whole library with yourself you won't be able to do that examination because that professor made that numericals made that exam paper i don't know from where so here's my tip try to be nice with your professors have a good relationship with your professors go to your classes attend your classes there's no attendance rule in Canada. You don't have to attend the classes. They will not mark your attendance every time, right? There is nothing like attendance. But every professor knows that who is coming to class to attend the class. They know you by your face and they also might know you with your name as well. Even if you have never told them your name. So there's no rule of attendance over here. But please to attend all the classes and build a strong relationship with your professor so that if you face any difficulty maybe your assignment marks are low or maybe your project is not going as you thought it would be they will help you they will definitely help you third point why masters is considered so hard in canada is because professors have expectations set up for the master students 
we have already completed bachelors in our home country right so professors are prepared that these students already have basic level of knowledge and they are just coming for advanced or higher studies they will not cover anything that is basic or is below the advanced level they will not cover anything which you have studied in bachelor they already have some expectation in my masters we have so many new languages and programs which i never heard in india i have only done software matlab c++ c and these type of programs right but over here there were so many new softwares like dams upstreams and so many new and i don't have any job so in india our professor teaches us the programming language basics at least they give us basic knowledge of those languages but over here these programs in these languages you have to teach yourself you have to go online and teach yourself all these programs because but i'm not scaring you if i can do you guys can also do you have to just work hard and learn yourself you can't rely on anybody you have to learn everything on your own and it's not impossible it's not very hard you can learn and if you have doubt you can ask your teaching assistant or you can ask professor you can ask your classmates that's why i tell you socialize with your classmates as much as possible but if you have time right now try to learn those languages try to learn at least basic languages like c c++ python java matlab excel these languages are very important and please try to learn these languages if you are coming to do masters in canada and fourth point why master is so hard is the constant pressure you might think that one semester would be of 5 to 6 month but actually it is only for 3 months and those 3 months also pass by so fast and at the fourth month it's time for final examination and in those 3 months you have to complete assignments projects research paper give one mid term and god knows what all so these things you have to keep in mind you have to balance out that you have to get good grades in all the assignments in all the research papers all the projects given by the professor in because in each and everything if you will get good grades then your final grade would be good so you have to maintain good marks throughout your semester to have a good percentage by end of your final exam unlike in india you can't copy your assignment or research paper from your classmates or from internet it's an offense in canada if you publish somebody else work as your own and it is considered very serious offense don't try to copy anybody's work don't ever try to copy and you will get in trouble so there is always constant pressure of having assignments research papers projects in some projects you have to work in group and your group members would be lazy so you have to do work so these things you have to balance it out and i think these things actually prepare you for your future a lot when you are in your job you don't have any help you have to do everything on your own under constant pressure i think This pressure is good but don't become too overwhelmed and too stressed because if you become stressed then there is chances of making error. So here's my tip for you guys. If your masters allow four courses in one term, don't take four courses. If you can't do it, don't take four courses. Take two or three. It's okay. In my first term, I only took two courses. My graduate department allows us to take maximum of three courses in one term, but I only took two courses. Why? Because Because when you come to Canada for first time, you don't know many things. You need time to adjust. There will be culture shock. You need time to adjust to the Canadian university teaching. You need to adjust to so many things. So I just took two courses when I came in my first term, so that I don't get so much burden. Because I don't really want to mess up, so I only took two courses in my first term, and I took three courses in my remaining term and completed my degree. So it's up to you guys if you can take pressure go ahead and complete the courses but don't try to rush so much because at the end masters is very overwhelming but and if you will try to take additional stress then there is chances of making mistakes and my fifth point is lack of canadian experience I always say in my videos if you are coming to do masters first try to get enrolled in the program which has co-op in it 
and if you can't get a program which has co-op try to get internship during your breaks either summer break or winter break that's why i stress on these things a lot because mostly master programs doesn't come with co-op my program doesn't come with co-op and if you don't have co-op it's very difficult to get job and without canadian experience it's difficult to get full-time job even if you have done masters from a good university that's why i stress so much that if you are taking a term off try to find internship on your own don't rely on the university if the university is not giving co-op try to find your internship on your own try to find internships in startup companies try to find internships in the job fairs organized by the universities take advantage of whatever you get make your resume strong take appointments from the universities to fix your resume cover letter linkedin profile everything and try to land a good internship if you will have a good internship even if it's in a startup but you are doing good work in your company you will get full time job before even graduating your masters but if you will not have canadian experience it will take you some time to land a good job after completing masters because every company over here will ask you do you have canadian experience do you have done internship or you have some sort of canadian experience your part time job is good but that is not what the companies would be looking for if you are applying for technical jobs if you are doing part time in food services they don't really want that experience they are looking for experience in your field of education so try to get experience in your own field by ta- either taking co-op co-op is best because universities help you to find co-op but if you can't do that and i know majority of masters program doesn't come with co-op programs try to get internship by taking a term off it will not only help you to pay your tuition fees but it will help you to gain canadian experience which is very valuable even if it is for 4 months 3 months 5 months it's up to you but please try to get some sort of canadian experience so that you can land into full time job even before you graduate so these were all my points that why masters is considered so hard to do from canada i hope you like this video and i hope you are not discouraged by it. because my motive is not to discourage you guys if you are coming to canada to do master it is a very good step towards your bright future but in masters is difficult and you have to manage your time your time jobs your food everything you have to do yourself and, and i feel like when you come to do masters you are mature enough because you are coming after bachelors but you just need that right guidance so that you can follow your path but definitely it is worth to come to masters and spend that much money so i hope you like this video and i hope you are not discouraged again my motive is not to discourage anyone just listen to me if i can do this you can also do this and i am a every student so if i can do this anybody can do this let's take that from this video so i hope you like this video if you like this consider subscribing it will means the universe to me and like this video share with your friends and family and i will see you in another video till then take care bye bye